Hi everyone, just a short video here. A while ago I made a video about how to best play Game Boy on your CRT. And uh, I mentioned that one of the best ways to experience Game Boy games on your CRT is by using the Game Boy interface for Swiss. Um, I mentioned that it gives you great uh, ways of tweaking the image and uh, the screen size and um, you get barely any lag at all. Um, but back then I uh, didn't know that you ac can actually change the game palette. So as you can see back then the standard palette I used was the black and white one. But uh, since then I've learned that you can actually play your Game Boy games using the DMG uh, palette, uh, the original Game Boy palette, which we all remember and know, the, the green, yellowish uh, palette. So back to Game Boy interface. You load up the speedrun edition. I have now added an option to toggle between the standard palette and the DMG palette. One cool thing about the DMG palette on the Game Boy interface is that it tries to mimic the more yellowish colors of the DMG screen rather than the more greenish colors, which is the case with many of the Game Boy emulators out there. In my previous video on how to play Game Boy games on your CRT, I mentioned that the Game Boy player with the Game Boy interface on the GameCube is probably one of the best ways to enjoy Game Boy games. One reason for that is that the Game Boy interface allows you to play in full screen. You can zoom in and zoom out the image. Another good reason for using the Game Boy interface is that it barely got any lag. So you get much lower input latency compared to Nintendo's own Game Boy Player disc which they included with the Game Boy Player. And now with the DMG palette, we are one step closer to mimicking the original DMG Game Boy. In the description for this video I will include the DCP file and the CLI file. So just copy the text and paste them in the respective text files and save down to your SD memory. Okay guys that's all for this time. I hope you enjoyed this very short video. If you have any comments or suggestions please leave them in the comment field below. And I'll see you next time. Take care.